Hey, what's up? Schnell, and happy fifth birthday to Blood Incantation and their debut full length on Dark Descent Records. Star Spawn. Now. Finally, the ultimate cosmic death metal release. Technical ambient and funeral, etc. Dark Descent Record DDR 157, also available on CD and cassette. My personal favorite way to listen to Star Spawn is cassette. Yeah. That's fucking even more trendy than just listening to Blood Incantation. That's death metal for hipsters. I don't give two shits. First off, you're wrong. And second off, that's your loss. Sorry. If you're a fan of, like, Morbid Angel, Demi Lich, why, like, but aside from, like, cool points, I'm sorry, but, like, are we listening to two different things? I, I don't know, and I don't even fucking care. If you're gonna be a dick and not listen to Blood Incantation because reasons... Whatever, I don't care. But I love the cassette cosmetics. Hails the Dark Descent Records. Paul, Jeff, Morris, and Isaac. Like, Star Spawn has a lot of demi ghoul worship, but it also sounds like blood incantation. Yeah. And that's awesome. Because, you know, in 2016, the only band that I feel like was comparable to Blood Incantation on a technical, non-boring level was Nucleus. And guess who toured with Blood Incantation on their first Star Spawn East Coast run on... The 18th of September, 2016. Yeah, I don't forget it. Because I got to see Blood Incantation live for the first time with Nucleus and uh, Morose. Awesome show. But first, here is the pre-order of Star Spawn, but... This is not my black version. This was a gift from certain members of Blood Incantation. But just look at that gorgeous cover. Look at that logo. I love the artwork. I love the cosmetics. The lyrics are fan-fucking-tastic. The fact that all the solos have names amazing and also a very classic death metal move hails to pete de bure at world famous studios for recording this monster the analog way and this is red vinyl from the pre-order 2016 there's Larry, a.k.a. the Star Baby. One day, Larry will be tattooed on me. And now, as much as I love blasting this on vinyl, sometimes I also like throwing the picture disc version on. Dark Descent Records, limited to a thousand units. 
and look. Why would you get a fucking picture disc version? That shit sucks. No. Look, Dark Descent, give a shit. For one, the LP is not just in a vinyl picture disc sleeve. It's a regular vinyl sleeve. Vinyl record sleeve, not the vinyl material. That's what I'm talking about. That, like, ultra-thick... But Dark Descent Records give a shit about the cosmetics. Limited to a thousand. This sounds great. And look. Even more protection. And this is very Morbid Angel. I love it. You get the regular cover. And then you get a promo photo. Morris, Jeff, Isaac, and the master of all demons, Paul Riddell. And here's another great thing about the picture disc if you're a nerd like myself. You can do this and switch the cover to star spawn to that of a promo photo. Yes, I am a nerd like that. And also, just like the regular edition, Dark Descent gives a fuck. Yup. Lyrics. Thank yous. Band photos. Yup. You get everything. And like I said, you can also change the cover if you want, technically. But on August 16th, I know it's a belated birthday, but Blood Incantation dropped Star Spawn on the world. This shit like sold out almost instantly. The picture disc dropped like a year later, I think. I honestly forget, it might have been 2018, but I remember, you know, I saw that limited to a thousand, and it's one of my favorite modern death metal records. Why would I not have it on multiple formats? I'm just not one of those people that need 15 copies of the same record. Having a picture disc version? A regular LP version and a cassette, I'm good. I did not have a working car during this time period, so I never ended up getting like a CD version and I, I'm, I'm good. But I do have two copies of live vitrification. The live recordings that follow you all the way through the Star Spawn tour cycle. And you can even see the East Coast extinction date of 9-18-16 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I know there's a Time Wave Zero sticker on there. I honestly don't know how that happened, but it did. But I have the cassette version as well with awesome artwork by Lucas Shagoth Kinetics, but I love this clear... And this has live vitrification of Blood Part 1 and 2. Larry as an etching on the B-side. Recorded at St. Vitus and mixed and mastered by Peter at World Famous. Killer shit. And this is like a screen print, I think. I forget how they make these. But I'm pretty sure they're screen printed. Again, Shagoth Kinetics. Killer stuff, too, also. And this is self-released by Blood Incantation. And he also did this little Matrix thingy. Badass. But Star Spawn, to me, like, the touring cycle lasted from 2016 to, like, 2018. And that's badass. That's a legit tour cycle and they went everywhere 
because I, I have an Australian Extinction t-shirt from 2017, although I wasn't there. But, like, they did two European tours, European Necrosis, Interdimensional Passages through Europe, the Australian Extinction, Western Abominations, Eastern Abominations, which was a great show, 5918 with Demilich. And uh, then we have European Extinction, and then that led into the Hidden History of the Human Race touring cycle, which is still continuing. And then, I'm not sure what's going to go on with the Time Wave Zero stuff, but I am hoping, like a lot of you, that we get that Planetarium tour. Because this will sound fantastic in that type of environment. But, if I was trying to get someone into Blood Incantation, you either start them with Star Spawn, or you start them with Hidden, I mean, uh, with Interdimensional Extinction, and then tell them to go into Star Spawn. And then if they dig Star Spawn, then they can get into Hidden History of the Human Race. This is the Dark Descent version. Kind of weird. Like, they did the EP and the full length on these, like, real nice, like, you know, windowless pro tapes. It's all good. It sounds great, like, and stuff. But yeah, this is the Dark Descent cassette version of Hidden History. I personally love Blood Incantation. I'm very biased about my love of Blood Incantation. And I will stick up for them every chance I get. And to me, musically, it's everything I want from a death metal band. 120%. And songwriting-wise, like, it's just fantastic. The aesthetic, everything, like... The fact Colorado Springs, Colorado, USA, Earth. That's so bad ass. And like, I love the instrumental, meticulous soul devourment. Everything about this is just amazing. If you don't like Blood Incantation, frig off. But nah, seriously, this is just the best. Like, I love Hidden History, but there's just something magical about Star Spawn, in my opinion. But, happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you came. We wish you were blood incantation so we could say the same. Thank you for putting out such amazing tunes. Keep up the good work, boys. Have fun in Europe, and hopefully see you guys in October.